let's take it back. Three weeks, Jim Harbaugh suspended these past three games. I mean, emotionally, what's your thoughts about what this 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 win means for this program, what Jerome Moore was able to do when a lot of people were doubting them outside of Ann Arbor and, and just uh, what they were able to pull off today? This was a fantastic victory. Fantastic. You had Sharon Moore come in here and out-coach a seasoned coach with all the advantages, right? Now, he has an identity as a coach. Four games as a head coach, and he has an identity, right? Don't get too cute. At the end of the day, we still a smash mouth team and put your best, your best players in position to make plays the whole game from beginning to end. And, and understand, he had limitations. Did you notice they didn't run J.J. McCarthy today on the design run? Did you notice that? When it came time to run a design quarterback run, he put Alex Orgy in the game. That should, be, that should tell you something. For all the people that were talking last week about, oh, man, too conservative. I, and granted, in game, I was one of those people. But we went back and we watched the tape, right? And there were some things that didn't add up. You watch the first play of the game, it's an RPO. J.J. McCarthy done not miss that read, right. right? You see on the second series, he, he, he hits Roman with the pass. J.J. McCarthy is not the kind of guy that's going to lead his, lead his receiver into destruction. That's right. not J.J. And then the next play is a shot play that people didn't see because they don't see the all 22. It's a touchdown, a play action pass touchdown. Now, why is J.J. McCarthy missing these passes? Did, did, did it seem like out of the ordinary? It, it had to. And the reason why it was out of the ordinary, because the man was banged up. The man was banged up. You spend a week in treatment. I mean, how much practice are you really having? Right? And so you got to figure out a way to get out of there. Now, it, the onus was upon the coaches that even in a situation where your quarterback isn't playing well, how do you get him rhythm? And so you see how they came out of this, out in this game. Immediately, you can see the objective. We're still going to run this football, but we're going to get our quarterback in rhythm. First two passes he threw were bad balls. And it was incumbent upon Sharon to not get knocked off of the resolve to get his quarterback some rhythm. And that wound up being true. You see those tight window throws he threw? The tight window throw to, to, Roman, throw to Roman. Roman for, for a touchdown. The, the pinpoint throw between a couple of defenders yes. to Coast and Loveland. You don't get that. If you don't establish rhythm for your quarterback early in the game and you have to be committed to it because it's very easy to be intoxicated by the run. But now you got to figure out how do I open up my run game, which all year long has been contingent upon the success when it's wildly successful. It's contingent upon my quarterback, namely number nine, being a piece of that puzzle. And that was clearly off the table today clearly off the table today they did not run jj mccarthy on one design run think about that for a second yeah. that is a coach who says i gotta figure out a way so he gets the alex orgy thing going right yeah and rely and put your quarterback say listen the only time you're gonna run is improv situations right we know those situations are gonna come up mm -hmm. but we aren't gonna add to the equation by having by calling runs for you and they still figured out a way. And the run of the day was after Zach Zinner goes down, when, one of the leaders of this team. Yeah. And that insert zone that he called, that pop for a touchdown, right after that, terrific call. Terrific call. Yeah.